On this week's episode of the God Bolt Life podcast, I used to be very critical and very, it's either this or that, and very hard on myself about being able to be what I'm supposed to be in a moment, checking off all the boxes, crossing every T and dotting every I with whatever it is, because I have such a high expectation of myself in all things that I think I'm coming out of a season where I felt deeply that I was doing everything wrong and that I wasn't a good wife because partly I wasn't a good wife but it was also this inner communication that I had that told me that I wasn't a good wife and I would never grow to be better so it was like always hindering me of being open to this idea of change and change being this scary thing for me for a long time to now being something that I have to manually embrace, knowing that that's the good thing. Life breeds change. Simply submitting to you and and making that manual decision like, yeah, I wouldn't choose this and I still don't think this is right. But God calls me to submit to him and to follow him. So even if I'm looking around and I see a different outcome than what you're pointing us towards, I have to believe that the act of following you is more important than me being right in a situation. And when I spent so long finding safety and being right, sometimes it feels unsafe to not be right or to decide that I don't care whether I'm right or wrong. But the focus is following you. The focus is obedience to the Father because I'm more aware now than I was before that I think I know what the variables are of the situation, but I really don't. And the more that I've broken that down in me, the pride, the self-glory, the independence, I have learned that it's not hard to submit when you know that the person you're following is submitted to Christ, submitted to God, and also that everything I knew before is literally opposite in the kingdom. So if I think I'm going to still be able to be that girl that I was before in our marriage is wrong. Oftentimes, where we're at to make the decisions that we're making, we didn't get there because God put us there or by following what he said to do. We got there by doing us, doing what the world told us to do to get said results. So then we come into an understanding of his truth. And really, the only way to even get there is for us to unlearn what we thought we knew which also comes with a level of necessary humility because it takes, I was just talking to a friend earlier today about how like, it's truly tough when you can tell that the only thing standing between the life that people really desire to have and where they are is the humility to repent for thinking that they knew better. My purpose is centered in sits inside of who Christ has made me to be. It's this idea that what you do at work, who you are to your kids, who you are to your husband, who you are to strangers should not be different. The idea is that you're the same person in all these roles and all these hats that you wear. And what I realized was I was kind of different depending on who I was talking to because we're taught to code switch. We're taught to, you know, adjust to the room and, you know, make sure you act like you've been somewhere, some, you know, when you go somewhere and act like da, 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 da. And it's like, well, what if we did not act? Instead, we focused our pursuits on being. If you focus on being, then you have the space to be aware of what needs healing, what needs to be changed, what needs growth. And what is ready to be poured out into other people. But if you don't have that awareness of who you are and you're only focused on, well, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I'm a corporate America queen. That's who I am. 
That's not who you are. These worldly positions are not who we are. And that separation and that mindset shift has been huge for me in every position that I operate in, including being a wife. Watch the full episode now at youtube.com slash Jade Godbolt.